Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are now in Idaho. Uh, we started yesterday from Creston. We drove south for about 500 kilometers, I think. And now we are in this uh, little town called Lucille and uh, this amazing little bed and breakfast, Maven's Haven. We got here last night. The weather was really, really hard, but yeah, this is a really nice place. Uh, we're gonna head down to Boise and then from there probably camp at Pine and then start our uh, BDR journey from there. Finally, we are on the Idaho BDR. We stopped at a uh, mountain home for a bit and then we, we started from there. We are heading down to Pine. I guess heading up. Wow, this is... This came up pretty suddenly. You leave the road and then suddenly you come across this canyon. This is intense. Well, the BDR officially begins over here for us. Wow, that looks stunning. Saw so many videos of these uh, of this dam. Been riding um, on tarmac for about 800, 900 kilometers. So it's going to take me a few minutes to adjust to uh, gravel. <laughs> Seem, seems like my new Dunlops are uh, doing a pretty good job. Damn, it's crazy. You have to be pretty careful here. One uh, miss and you're down there.
and my GPS. Places to do backcountry camping over here. Oh shit. Uh, some soft sandy part. Ah, oh, the temperature is dropping. Nice. I've been riding in 32, 33 degree weather. All the gear on. Oh my god, it's not fun. That was sandy. I think the traction control saved me. That was fine. Now we are on the other side of the mountain. I don't know which mountain that was, but we are on the other side. Ugh, a, lot of, a lot of sandy shit here. And a lot of twisty shit down there. Should be fun. Gotta be careful, coming downhill, very sandy. Day two, technically day three because we started from Canada. So we just left Pine and we're heading towards uh, Yellow Pine. It's gonna be a long day. It's about I think 330 kilometers or something. Uh, a lot of a lot of people running over here. There, we saw a lot of campgrounds. We saw a lot of people uh, camping. And uh, tomorrow is. Uh, July the, I, oh, today is July the 4th so a lot of people here are vacationing that's why we see so many people here but yeah last night was good it was the water weather took a turn after we pitched our tents and uh, as we were about to go to sleep it was so windy like it wasn't in the forecast at all it was supposed to be nice and sunny but it was super windy it lasted that wind lasted for I think at least three four hours. One of the guys riding with us, Abhinav, his tent was filled with uh, all the dust and mud from the wind. Uh, that was not that great, but then yeah, overall everyone got a good night's sleep. And then uh, we left, got gas from uh, Pine, and then we are on our way to Yellow Pine. It was raining a little too this morning. Beautiful. Early morning rides are the best. One thing that's worrying me over here is there is a lot of traffic, a lot of cars and trucks. Definitely don't want to be. You know, be met with one very careful in the trunks. Damn, this is incredible. So 
yeah i think in about 10 20 minutes we will get uh, we will be at the trinity lakes turn off um, that will take us to the trinity lakes lookout i really want to do it let's see if everyone is up for it if so we will attempt that i've watched a lot of videos doesn't look all that bad uh, I think about three or four kilometers of hill climb should be a lot of fun. Still getting used to riding off road with all the luggage. I did it last year, I had metal panniers last year and I rode the Okanagan VDR. Uh, but I think since we've been riding a lot of tarmac have to get used to it a little. Oh, it's a nice little camera. Very private. The weather was supposed to be sunny our entire uh, ride, but when it's the weather forecast, it's very unpredictable, especially in the mountains. we will be able to complete the entire section today most of the videos that I saw I don't think anyone did it's a it's a stretch 330 odd kilometers off-road no it's not not the not the easiest thing to do especially with luggage and big bikes so we're gonna see how far we get I think we're being a little ambitious but we are Know, gonna be camping everywhere so if we are tired we're gonna, we're gonna just uh, you know, camp on the side of the road somewhere I'm sure there are a lot of spots around here where we can camp just like this one we are hearing news about certain passes being closed because of snow I think Canada and uh, I mean pretty much all the mountains got a lot of snow this year and it's taking a while to melt so we'll see oh it's a deer and I want to be a little careful <laughs> I jumped out of nowhere I think deers are fine. Don't want to come across a bloody bear. I'm gonna slow down for this guy. Sad to see all these burnt trees, but I feel like it has, you know, with all these burnt trees and the new rough plants growing has its own little beauty looks like art Stunning views. This is amazing. The higher we go, the better the views are. After watching a bunch of Idaho BDR uh, videos, I sort of dreamt of riding this, and today I'm doing it. So excited.
stunning. I use all these adjectives because I mean I'm running out of them. This is why we ride. This is why we ride off-road. For views like this. this happened 